The season started with Baker throwing a game-ending interception against the Kansas City Chiefs in a rematch of their division round playoff game. That was a game the Browns could have easily won. Now, Baker played pretty well in that game, but that interception in the last play of the game would be a sign of things to come. In Game 2, Baker took a shot against the Texans after throwing an interception that messed up his shoulder, an injury many fans would use as an excuse for Baker's play the rest of the season. In Week 3, OBJ returned from his injury against the Bears. A game the Browns won, Baker finished with 246 passing yards and a touchdown, and OBJ had 5 catches for 77 yards in his return, seemingly settling things down. But the next week, Baker put together one of his worst performances of his career. He finished 15 for 33 passing for just 155 yards and was capped off by this horrific throw to OBJ who was wide open down the sideline. Somehow, someway, the Browns won that game, but it was at this point that Browns fans began losing confidence in Baker. He simply cannot miss that throw. I mean, my God. Pathetically, this throw was excused by people claiming OBJ was, quote, freelancing his routes. After yet another terrible performance against Pittsburgh, OBJ had had enough. Odell's father, Odell Beckham Sr., had posted on Instagram a video of Odell being wide open and not getting the ball. The Browns then told OBJ to stay home, knowing that the disgruntled wide receiver would have a negative impact on the team. It was at this point, in November of 2021, that OBJ and the Browns came to an agreement on his release. And just like that, the OBJ Browns tenure was over. And what a disaster it was for all parties. OBJ would go on to sign with the Los Angeles Rams and, of course, won the Super Bowl. Baker would go on to struggle for the remainder of the season, finishing the year with a 6-8 with a record as a starter, completing just 60% of his passes, throwing for 3,000 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. At this point, it now felt like Baker's time in Cleveland was coming to an end. After an offseason of rumors and Cleveland targeting a new quarterback, Baker announced that he would like to be traded from the team in a move that was very much a, I will break up with you before you break up with me. Then the Browns traded for Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson, in a shocking move. They traded a first round pick in 2022, 2023, 2024, as well as a 2023 third round pick and a 2024 fourth round pick while getting Deshaun Watson in a 2024 fifth round pick. They also gave Deshaun Watson a $230 million fully guaranteed contract, the first fully guaranteed contract in NFL history. The Browns then granted Baker's request and traded him to the Carolina Panthers for a fifth round pick. And as the NFL will do, the Browns' first game of the next season was, of course, against the Carolina Panthers. Baker had his moments in this game, but for the most part, he struggled, getting sacked multiple times by Miles Garrett and throwing a brutal interception. Third and 10. Mayfield's pass intercepted. Poorly thrown pass, it's Grant Delpit on the pick. The Browns are going to win this game on a miracle 58-yard field goal, ending their drought for not winning the opening game of the season. Baker will go on to struggle mightily with the Panthers, completing only 57% of his passes for only 187 yards per game, 6 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions in 7 games. He was then released by the Carolina Panthers in December of 2022. A few days later, he was picked up by the Los Angeles Rams, where he had some moderate success. But perhaps the most impressive thing Baker did, and a move that probably secured him a spot in the NFL for years to come, after just being on the team for a few days, he came in on Thursday night football against the Las Vegas Raiders and led a 98-yard game-winning touchdown drive, including this unbelievable touchdown pass. Second and 10, Mayfield to the end zone to Jefferson. Is that possible? Touchdown. This is impossible. They go 98 yards. 
I truly believe that Baker's NFL career was teetering on the edge of ending at this point. Nobody wants a QB with an ego as their backup QB, but Baker was no longer good enough to be a starting NFL QB, so where does that leave him? However, this game against the Raiders on such short notice proved one thing about Baker Mayfield. He can be a capable backup because perhaps the most important thing for backup to do is to be able to come into a game with minimal preparation and find a way to get it done. And Baker Mayfield certainly showed he can do that and quite frankly showed he could do that throughout his career. At the end of the season, Baker had the option to re-sign with the Rams as a backup behind a now healthy Matthew Stafford. But instead, he chose to sign with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and their newly vacated QB spot with Tom Brady retiring, signing with his fourth team in just nine months. And that is where we are with Baker Mayfield now. Working in the offseason with the Bucks and making some throws so bad that they went viral. Baker went from a Heisman Trophy winner, number one overall pick, savior of the franchise, to now competing with Kyle Trask for a starting job on his fourth team in nine months. Now that is truly a rise and fall. I don't hate Baker, and quite frankly, he gave me some of my favorite moments as a Browns fan. I will never forget that Thursday night football game against the Jets. I will never forget that win in the playoffs against the Steelers. But quite frankly, he also gave me some of my worst moments. The 2019 season in general was one of the most brutal things I ever went through. The whole OBJ debacle was terrible. But all in all, it was a wild ride, and it was quite the time to be a Browns fan, and it was quite the time to watch the Baker Mayfield experience. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe. I've been working on this for a long time. This has been probably my longest video. I've split it into now four parts. And yeah, I'm going to post the whole thing compiled together once I put all four parts out. So look, to, stay tuned for that uh, four complete video and all four parts as they come out. Uh, wow. Yeah, this was a monster. But thank you so much for those who have been following along. Um, it has been quite the story for Baker, and it's not over. He still has a chance to start here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and uh, we'll see what he does with a pretty talented team around him. So, yeah, like I said, if you like this video, if you like what I've been doing, uh, these sort of long documentary-type uh, videos where I talked about, you know, the Chandler Parsons uh, contract that was terrible. I talked about the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers, and now I've done the Baker Mayfield experience. So please, uh, the Baker Mayfield rise and fall, I should say. So um, please down below comment uh, what video you would like me to do next. And yeah, like, subscribe, all that stuff. So yeah, thank you very much. Peace.